going on, YouTubers? Uh, I did get a new package today. This is the UC Studio Future Trunks. And UC Studio is Unique Creation Studio. Uh, this is owned by Bowen Lee. I believe he also has a partner. Uh, so this is number 67 of 300. Pretty sleek looking box. 300 pieces, this is sold out, so do not ask how to buy it. If you're gonna buy it, find someone who owns it and offer to buy it off them. Uh, pretty hefty weight for the box. It was double brown box plus this, so in reality you're getting three boxes. Nice good styrofoam. So this was delayed about a month or two. I already tell you that base looks freaking awesome. Looks like a lot of parts going into this. I just pray for the life of me, no damage. The tape is somehow infused into the the base or the plastic bag. Ugh. Oh my goodness! It's like I melted into it. I don't know if these are supposed to come off, but two of these did come off. But it looks like you just, I just inserted it right back in there. I don't know if it's supposed to be glued or not. That's the front. I'm not sure exactly where the power button is. I know there's a light up feature. I believe it's already installed. Huh. Need to figure that out. Ugh. 
tell you one thing, this is definitely a heavier resin. Now this thing's got a good weight to it. This is Trunks' body. Sword holster. Connects via magnet. So here's the regular trunks head. Looks awesome. In case you're not aware, they are remaking the Super Saiyan head. Apparently a lot of people don't like it. I didn't think it was detailed enough. There it is. I'm hoping they do do a new uh, expression on the new Super Saiyan head. I'd love to have like a grinning teeth. So Bone if you're watching this, please make a grinning teeth trunks. That will look so cool. So this is a real metal sword, and it is quite sharp actually, you could probably damage someone with this. So if I wanted to, no, they even label it right hand, but no, it even moves a little bit, it's not like glued in or anything, so I'll go based off the angle. For the left uh, arm, you have two options. Uh, you can go ahead and use just a fist, like this. You know, which looks pretty cool. Just grabbing his sword. Or, a really cool option is they did give you the ability to go ahead and have Trunks thrown away his jacket like he's just prepping for battle. And they actually did go ahead and uh, do mixed media. So here's his jacket, mixed media. You now has the capsule corp and not sure. I don't know if it's just like this or if I'll need to look at pictures to see exactly how he does this, how he holds it. But more or less, you know, I basically just threw his jacket away. You know, like that. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, set him up downstairs and we can go ahead and do a review. Okay, everybody, I got Trunks all set up. I did have to insert the batteries and get him set up. He pretty much, you know, he's going to take up pretty much this entire Besta shelf. You know, a very large base. So I won't fit anything else in here. If anything, I'll just display the extra parts to the left and right of them. But let's go ahead and uh, check this out. Uh, as you can see, you know, here's my other one-fourth scale statues. So Kid Buu, Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Dragon, uh, Kid Goku GT, and now Trunks. So let's go ahead and check him out. I like this pose probably the best, grabbing the sword, throwing the jacket, prepping for battle. Uh, this is definitely a really awesome statue. It's nice to finally have a one-fourth scale DBZ statue. This base is absolutely incredible. I love the base. I love how they, you know, got Capsule Corp, 
logos all throughout. There's a light up feature, you just press this button, boom, light up throughout on this thing, as well as just little green light ups throughout. You know, so that's pretty sweet light up feature they got going on there. And then on here you got uh, Mecha Frieza, as well as some uh, King Cold's arm right there, all throughout the entire base. Really cool how, you know, they designed it to be Frieza's dead body after Trunks just absolutely annihilated him. You know, and it's on a rocky base as well. Great, great base. Really like it. In regards to Trunks himself, let's go ahead and, uh, you know, look at him. Looks very good overall. I really like this head, uh, the regular head, so I'll definitely display them like this and switch out to the Super Saiyan every now and then. The sword's also extremely cool, so I could have him just, you know, actually just holding that out. Uh, the extra parts are just right here for now. The Super Saiyan head is not as bad in person as, you know, people have been saying. I think it does look a little bit better. But, I mean, it's definitely, uh, you know, not as good as it could be. So, I'm happy they are going to be, you know, making a new head hair. In regards to, like, paint and everything, the skin tone is good. I don't mind the deco eyes too much. People prefer painted eyes, but, you know, they look pretty good. I will say the QC could definitely be better in some areas, you know, like, see, I don't know if you can see that right there, like little scratches on the arm. The base has a lot of, I don't know if it's meant to look like that, you know, like, look at all that, even like right there, is that how that's supposed to be? You tell me. Plus, two of these things just came off. And of course, that the plastic sticking to it. So, I mean, the QC could be a little bit better. Uh, let's go ahead and look at uh, the other trunks I have most recently. Uh, you know, this is the other trunks by Exceed. Now, th those are painted eyes right there. So, you tell me what you like more. Let me get the Super Saiyan head and so we can compare it. You tell me what you like better. So, I mean, there they are. Obviously, the UC Studio is a little more out and doesn't have as much orange to it. It's more of a, just a yellow, slight orange in the middle, but not, as, not enough, obviously. I mean, Trunks' facial structure is good, for sure. They have almost the same look as well, except for, you know, UC Studio is looking up. But look at the eyes and you tell me, what do you think is better? Eye-wise, right, painted, left, decal. Skin tone is a little too tan on the right. So it's not horrible by any means. It just, for a larger scale, you know, the smaller scale one, it looks more detailed. So that's my only grip with it. So this is a new factory that did do the new one-fourth scale. It's not the same factory that did Bowen Lee's first statue. Uh, I mean, I, I'll be honest, I think his first statue was a little bit better quality and, Quality wise, it's not that Trunks is by any means bad, but I do think his first statue was a little bit better. I sort of wish he never switched factories. I think, you know, the factory that he used originally was a little bit better. But this is def definitely a really cool statue. Definitely awesome. Those who got it are lucky. It's really cool. Great base, great poses. I love all the display options. I love having display options, especially in one fourth scale statues. Really, you know, just it gives you the ability to change the entire statue, really. So it's like you have, you know, two or three statues because you can pose this so many different ways. So, you know, let's go ahead and uh, change the layout real quickly so you can see the Super Saiyan head in the other pose. Okay, so here is the Super Saiyan head holding the sword with the fist hand. So 
I do like this pose as well. It's very cool looking. You know, he just has that fierce look like he's just ready to fight. Once they get the new Super Saiyan head, if they do it with a, you know, grinning teeth, I think they'll look really, really cool. Okay, everybody. So I, I put Trunks back in uh, with his, uh, the display, how I'm going to have it. So this is how I like Trunks. I'm going to just display his extra parts right there so I can easily switch it out. Let's go ahead and get a look up against the other 1 4th and 1 6 scale statues here, idea of size. Let me just uh, back it up a little bit. So there he is. You can also see the exceed trunks over there to the left. So Trunks is definitely really big, you know, if you compare him to like a 1-6 scale, you know, he towers over them. Definitely nice big size, great pose, great base, really can't complain. The price was awesome on him. You know, and it's really awesome that UC Studios can be providing an additional Super Saiyan head. Hopefully it's grinning teeth. Then you have a three head option. So that's just really cool and awesome of them. Really like this statue. It's really awesome. I don't plan to sell it. I plan to keep it for sure. And it is the definite Trunks 1 4th scale statue. You know, and I can't wait to see the new Super Saiyan head. It's freaking legit statue, light up feature, awesome base. So much going on on this base. Love the fact that, you know, that you have Frieza and Frickin' King Cold's arm there. Great statue for sure. I would give it a 9 out of 10. And, you know, uh, the only reason I wouldn't give it a 10 out of 10 is just I feel it could have had a little bit more finer detail in some parts, a little better QC. Other than that, you know, you can't really complain. You know, you got mixed media, real swords. Uh, like, I mean, real metal sword right there. You know, Super Saiyan head is not that bad. I just think a little bit more finer detail in QC is the only problems with it. But that regular head looks awesome. Love how the, you know, hair is like blowing up. It's not all, the, all down, so that makes it look better. Definitely looks just like freaking Trunks. Great skin tone. The shading's pretty good throughout his body. Frieza looks really good. You know, he's freaking cut in half. You can see all the mechanical parts right there. Right there. Got his other half of his face over here, along with the tail. Really, really great base. Just so much going on. I love how they have this capsule corp, like outer base. You know, good height, King Cold arm, that was an extra nice touch, great shading on it as you can see. Overall just really awesome statue. UC Studio will be producing a 1 4th Vegeta statue. It's Vegeta fighting against uh, Gohan when he's an ape, so it's from the Saiyan Saga, so I'm really looking forward to that. I'll definitely buy that, you know, and however, that's uh, still a little bit of ways away. Next statue we do got is going to be their Piccolo versus Goku, which looks incredible. And I cannot wait to get that, you know, they've already printed it, and the print, the 3D print looks really good. The detailing on Piccolo and Goku just look really good. And so I definitely plan to get that. If you're uh, not a member, uh, join my Facebook group, DBZ Resin Collectors. Uh, if you're looking to purchase future UC Studio statues, contact Bowen Lee. Join the group. I'll be posting all information in regards to how to buy their products. They sell out quickly, so you got to jump on board because they do low ESs and they don't do reruns. So if you missed out on trunks, unfortunately, you're just out of luck. No, that thing sold out real quick. I was fortunate enough to get it. And I look forward to their Piccolo vs. Goku and the Vegeta. And, you know, definitely a bright future for UC Studio. So, hope you all enjoy this video. Like, comment below. And have a great day.